Welcome to my week 5 battle of the VDL. This week the Indianapolis Infernapes are taking on Froze, coach of the Houston Rotoms. Froze has a really threatening team with some Sun Mons as well as Chen Pao, which is just a huge threat to my team. I have no way to switch into a choice banded uh, Chen Pao, so this is going to be a pretty interesting matchup this week. So let's take a look at his team. He has Chen Pao, Great Tusk, Walking Wake, Rev of Room, Torkoal, Whimsicott, Necrozma, Belly Bolt, Talonflame, Mistrevis, Greedent, and Reverum with Terra Steel, Water, and Grass, and Greedent with Normal, Fairy, and Fighting. So the first Pokemon I'm bringing this week is Iron Bundle. It is faster than my opponent's entire team. Uh, even the Chen Pao, I do have to watch out for a speed boosting Walking Wake or something like that. We do have the booster energy so that we can uh, get a speed boost and be faster if something is Choice Scarf or with a speed boost in the sun from Torkoal. Hydro Pump, Freeze Dry, Flip Turn, Substitute. I didn't have Ice Beam this week because Freeze Dry does enough to Great Tusk and I wanted Substitute to be able to block potential Sucker Punches from the Chen Pao. Bringing Shell Smash, Torterra again, Again, rocking a pretty standard moveset with loaded dice, uh, headlong rush, bullet seed, rock blast. We're able to run adamant. This has enough speed to just outspeed a Chem Pow normally if it's, you know, heavy duty boots or choice band or something like that. Bring in Choice Scarf Annihilate for the third week in a row, but this time I'm bringing Final Gambit. Uh, if it's a max HP Great Tusk, which is actually really threatening to my team, I'm able to knock that out or knock it down to about like 5% or so. It has a little bit more HP than um, Annihilate does, but uh, enough speed to outspeed a Great Tusk with a booster uh, energy or a protosynthesis boost. And then the rest of my EVs just went into attack to do a little bit more damage. Needed that max HP to be able to do as much as I can with Final Gambit. Um, but U-Turn, Rage Fist, and Close Combat still do a ton of damage anyways to most of his team. Deoxys Defense is my dedicated walking wake switch in as well as it's there to handle Necrozma. Knockoff is to remove items, uh, especially Mr. Revis's Eviolite. Psychic does a great amount to Great Tusk, and I can actually take one hit from that uh, with my max HP. And then Thunder Wave is to slow things down and recover to gain back health. Bring in Colossal. I have both Torterra is my Terra this week and Colossal. It just is going to depend on like the situation on which I need to Terra. Most games I ended up tearing Torterra, Terra Water to be able to get Shell Smash, but Terra Fairy here is an option as well. Rocking that Flame Body. This is my main switch into Chen Pao. I want to be able to possibly get a burn off on that, which is why I'm also rocking Endure just for more possible chances to be able to get a flame body off on that Chen Pao. Stealth Rocks, Will-O-Wisp, and Flamethrower, pretty standard set besides the Endor, but uh, it'll work out pretty well. And finally, we have Regieleki with dual screens, uh, Volt Switch, and Rapid Spin. If I get rid of the uh, Great Tusk, this thing can Volt Switch really freely, and it actually does quite a little bit of damage, even only with that 96 uh, special attack. And I'm able to outspeed, uh, I believe it was a... Um, boosted walking wake if i recall correctly can't remember exactly off the top of my head this thing is just so fast uh it outspeeds pretty much the entire team so if you enjoy drop a like subscribe wish me luck here we are with the battle and my opponent didn't even bring great tusk which is actually kind of crazy to me because that thing put in a ton of work but we see walking wake talon flame belly bolt necrozma um Torkoal, and chen pao using annihilate to remove belly bolt could be kind of useful because belly bolt has been a problem for me in some of my mock battles um annihilate here is just always my lead though because i'm able to u-turn out on anything that wants to lead um i doubt it's a booster energy walking wake with speed or anything like that so i should be faster than the entire team do have to be careful for talon flame though with gale wings or if it's flame body i don't want to u-turn out on it so something to keep in mind we see an immediate Torkoal lead, and I'm just going to U-turn out on this. I'm going to go out into Deoxys and maybe uh, knock off the Heat Rock that I'm assuming that this has, um, as they just set up Stealth Rocks. So I'll be able to get rid of those with Regieleki as soon as I bring that in. No Mistrevis just means it's uh, free. We're going to knock off here. Moving any item from anything here is very useful. If I'm able to remove this Heat Rock, that's probably best case scenario, though, which we are able to. Oh, it was Leftovers. Hmm. Interesting. I'm just going to go for a Thunder Wave now and slow this down. We'll slow it down even more than it already is. And this thing's not going to be doing much damage for me. He's probably fishing for a burn, if I had to guess. I'm just going to go for Psychic once. I don't want to switch out. Tor uh, Deoxys is my best like answer to this thing. And he does get the burn there. Not a huge deal. And we'll just recover up here to get up to full. And burn's actually pretty great because that means Belly Bolt can't Toxic Deoxys, which I was having some issues with in my mocks. And we see Chen Pao come out here, so this is going to be fun because now I have to go out into my Colossal, who is going to take Stealth Rock damage here, unfortunately. Um, maybe we can get a Flame Body Burn, though. Let's see. Do 
we get it we don't get it there um and he reveals life orb so we are able to take another hit here i'm gonna set up my stealth rocks here um do 25 percent to that torkoal coming in if he has sacred sword i do die here which is something i need to be somewhat concerned about but he also has to fear like getting the flame body so i don't think he's going to do that i'm going to set up my stealth rocks here and he goes out into his walking wake here. So get my stealth rocks up and we go out into Deoxys. That is always my switch in on this walking wake here. And let's find out if he's maybe specs. Nope, just flip turns out. Probably going back out into Chempow. I have no good switch in. So goes to Belly Bolt. Interesting. I really expected Chempow to maybe want to come out, but I understand that he doesn't want that to take stealth rock damage either. Gonna knock off leftovers on this. Oh, Light Clay. That actually works out for me since I don't want this thing having obviously multiple screen turns and i'm gonna go out to my reggie Alecki now and do the same thing but also get off a rapid spin because i don't want hazards up all right i imagine he just volt switches here and he's gonna bring out one of his threats probably chen pao necrozma comes out here i'm gonna set up a light screen and he is dragon dance cool okay let's volt switch out here i want to try to slow this down possibly with deoxys get a thunder wave off I don't know if I'll be able to take a hit here. I don't know what this wants to go for. I'd probably knock off if I had to guess. Um, but I don't really have like a, a good switch in here. So we're just going to click Thunder Wave and we'll see what he wants to do. I was not prepared for a Dragon Dance in a Krosma. All right. And he does have the knock off there and gets rid of us there. Uh, now I need to find out if Iron Bundle is able to come out and KO this with a Hydro Pump. It looks like a max roll from Hydro Pump would KO this, but I am not risking that. I am not, it, like, it's not close enough in range yet to, to be able to do that yet. Um, let me see if I can take a hit maybe with Colossal, which at that point I'm kind of throwing away my bundle check. But um, if he has Earthquake, no, I just die to that. Hmm, this isn't good. I think I might just uh, lose to this Necrozma here. I can't go out in a bundle yet because I don't want to use up my booster. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Um, I guess we'll go out into a Lecky here. Hopefully we're faster. Um, if we are, I Volt Switch. I sack Colossal. No. We're not faster. Okay. Um, I think this is just game. Because bundle, bundle does not KO. Like I said, unless I get a max roll, which I guess I can go try for. If it's my out, because I'm, I'm just, I think I just get swept here, unfortunately. Oh, we got the max roll. No way. Bundle. Like, I, I'm pretty sure I had to get, yeah, max is 67.4. All right, we see the Torkoal come out. I'm just going to knock this out here with a Hydro Pump. All right, Bundle, bringing this game back. I really thought that was it. I thought, um, ooh, okay. All right, we have a, we have a chance here. It's looking a little bit better. Uh, I kind of just need to keep this bundle in, though, for as long as possible, because otherwise it's uh, kind of useless without the booster energy. But it threatens the entire team right now. He's going to have struggle to switch into this. Uh, even with the weakened hydro pumps, it's still scary. I'm going to go out to Torterra here and make the aggressive play uh, as they light screen up here. And I don't want to shell smash just quite yet. I feel like that's kind of not the play in case there's something with a mirror herb in the back. I'm going to go for a Rock Blast here, um, in case that he wants to try to go out into Talonflame predicting. Yep. And we're probably, yeah, we're going to knock this out here. He was Heavy Duty Boots, so I could have possibly gotten a Shell Smash off there, but I didn't want to risk it. All right, this comes out. Now, do I KO Walking Wake here, or should I Shell Smash up? Because I have Terra Water, so I don't fear this all that much. And, yeah, it looks like I'm going to need to Shell Smash here, so... But I don't want to possibly boost this either. That would be a mistake. So I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to bullet seed. Okay, so that's specs. I don't think it does uh, that much damage otherwise. We'll just go out and iron bundle here though. And we freeze dry. This is his last turn of sun. So hydro pumps are going to be doing a ton of damage. If belly bolt comes out, as long as I can hit my follow up hydro pump, I'm good. Um, if Chen Pao comes out... I will. Okay, so we see Belly Bolt. Oh, he still has light screen, though. Unfortunate. I didn't think about that. Okay, let's go out into Colossal. I could have went out into Annihilate there and tried to get uh, Final Gambit off. That's alright. I'm going to Will-O-Wisp here. 
start getting some residual damage off on this. Um, I imagine he's in a light screen here, so I'm gonna go out and do Annihilate here and try to final gambit this. This thing is super annoying. I need it gone. Something's dying here. All right, it's Belly Bolt. All right, so now I have to make the call of what I want to go into here. Let me look at how much Iron Bundle is doing to this Walking Wake under a light screen. Um, I'm able to KO it with Freeze Dry. Cool. And then how about Shem Pao with a light screen up? Not able to KO that, but I have Substitute. I think Bundle's the better play. Because if this comes out, I go out into Colossal here. So I'm just going to hard switch out. I don't want this to try to like Sucker Punch or something. Flame Body. Okay, we don't get it there. But we Endure here. Give me the Flame Body. Oh, come on, Colossal. Let's see if we can get another Endure off here. Okay. That's fine, because we wasted screen turns. And I weakened this thing so much. I can't KO it, though. With Freeze Dry, I have to click Hydro Pump. And how much does a Sucker Punch from a Life Orb set do to Iron Bundle? Let's find out here. Like, is it worth me clicking um, Substitute? I mean, probably. I don't see a reason not to. We'll click it once. Um, because if he's adamant... Uh, no, Sucker Punch never KOs me here. So we'll, we'll Hydro Pump. This is a close game. Okay, he does have Sucker Punch. Can we hit... All right, we hit the Hydro Pump, and I think that's just game. Depending on his item here on the Walking Wake, if he's Choice Scarf, we lose. Oh my goodness. Bundle fucking clutching up that game. Holy shit. If Bundle didn't kill that Necrozma and hit all of those Hydro Pumps, I lost. Holy crap. What a good game. GG's, Froze. Um... Yeah, I, I'm kind of like speechless right now. I really thought I was going to lose to that Necrozma, so bringing that back uh, feels pretty good, especially with Bundle hitting all those Hydro Pumps. I, I know I'm kind of re like repeating myself here, um, but I'm just kind of shocked. Um, I'm also fucking exhausted. I just got off work. So, uh, huge GGs. This was our first time playing, and I, I'm very happy with the turnout. It was such a close battle on both sides. Um, but yeah, that's about it. If you enjoyed, drop a like, subscribe, and I will see you all later. Peace.